Hello, welcome back to Two Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard and today I'm here to tell you about Pocket. Pocket has very quickly become one of my most used applications and I think it is fantastic for teachers. What Pocket allows you to do is with one click save any image, video, or article to your Pocket and it makes it instantly available across all of your devices. It saves it for offline use so you can catch up on your reading while you travel and it strips away all of the ancillary ads and leaves you with a clean, easy to read article. So if you're like me, you come across most of the things that you want to use in your classroom while you're on your mobile phone. Because as teachers, we have very little time to sit at our desks and browse the internet at work. And what this allows you to do is with one click, you're able to save it and label it so you can easily find it later when you sit down to do your lesson plan. Instead of trying to stick it in a random bookmark or cast it into the bottomless pit of your email and trying to find it later. Now how this application works is very simple and straightforward. It'll only take me a moment to get you up and running. So let's take a look. All right, the first thing we're going to do is Google Save to Pocket, and it's going to take you to this link in the Chrome store. You're going to hit Add to Chrome, and you're going to get this button right here in the top right-hand corner that looks like a pocket. You click on it, and it's going to have you sign up through Google or another email address. You hit Allow, and now it's also going to prompt you to download this app to your phone, which you can do from right here if you've linked it to Google, which is pretty cool. All right. So now that we've done that, let's say that we're scrolling through Twitter or some other social media site and I find an article that I want to save for my lesson plans or just save to read later. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to click that button and it's saved. I'm going to add a tag here, EdTech, so I can find it easily later. And that's all you got to do. Now it's saved in your pocket. We're going to go up and open another tab and then we're going to Google just pocket. There we go. And then it's going to have you finish signing in. You're going to create a password. You hit finish and there you're good to go. Now you can see that article all ready to go and then you're going to get this list on the left here very straightforward of the different types of media that you can save we can hit our tags we can look for edtech and there we go easy to find all right now how i use this in my class let's say that i cover harriet tubbin in my class well she's in the news all over the place because of the twenty dollar bill and i found a lot of articles that i want to use so i just go to those articles i click that pocket and then i give it a tag i'm going to tag it tubbin versus jackson here we go so as long as i give all of those articles that tag they'll all be saved in the same place and i can easily find them later so here we go, there's one, two, and then three. Jackson first, and there we go, those will auto-populate. Now when we go back to Pocket, they're already there. And we can go down to Tag, and we can easily find them. Now this is how they're gonna look in your Pocket. Like I said, it's gonna take away all the ancillary ads and make it very clean and easy to read. We have a few options up here in the top. And we can go back. There we go. Now we can click back to our other articles. Now this article has a video embedded in it. Now the video will play straight from here. There we go. And like I said, it will make everything available offline for when you're traveling, which is fantastic. All right, now that we've seen how the desktop version works, this is how it looks on a cell phone. This is the application. You open it, and it's going to have you sign in the same way. And then there you go. All of your articles that you had saved from wherever are all available right there. It's going to have the same options. You can go and click the hamburger in the top left-hand corner and get your menu items. There we go. And you have your articles, your videos, your images, and your tags. We're going to go down and hit Tubman versus Jackson. There are all the articles that we were looking at before. Once again, the article is going to be very clean, but this is cool. You can also hit listen, and the Android app will read it to you. Let's take a listen. We can celebrate Harriet Tubman without disparaging Andrew Jackson by Jim Webb. One would think we could celebrate the Not exactly the soothing Harriet voice that you want to read you a bedtime story, but if you're stuck on a crowded plane and you don't want to get your phone out and actually read it, then you can listen to it. Works great. There's also a social aspect to this app, which you can add friends and share things from your pocket with them and vice versa, which is a great way to facilitate information through your PLN or your PLC or however else you make friends. All right. Well, that does it for our look at Pocket. I hope that you found this useful. If you have, please hit subscribe below. And each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technology and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.